Welcome, welcome to the Stocks with Josh show. It is time to talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and Polygon Matic. Bitcoin is on the move, which is absolutely awesome. But where is it headed next? If you guys have been watching my show, you know that I have the receipts for accurately predicting Bitcoin's moves. If you go back and you watch the videos that I made regarding Bitcoin's bottom in December of 2022, you know that I said that by the end of December, the bottom would be booked. And at that time, Bitcoin was range bound between 15,500 and 16,500. Most people were calling it lower to 10, 12, 14K. But in that video, I broke down the length and cycles of previous Bitcoin moves. And I explained that we were well over the 400 days of a typical crypto bear winter, and that we would soon be emerging into crypto spring or otherwise known as the accumulation phase a stage of gradual price increase that steadily moves higher and higher, leading to the next Bitcoin halving event, which is scheduled around March 2024. But most traders were bunkered down, bracing themselves for another leg down that would never come again. When Bitcoin shot up to 21K, I made a crypto video titled, Crypto Explodes, What's Next for Bitcoin, ETH, and Solana? At that time, Bitcoin was 21,000 and I made the accurate prediction that Bitcoin would ultimately hit 25K and we saw that today. That ETH would hit 1,800, which it's close, and Solana, which on that day was $17, would hit the max price of $26.79. Here's the clip. In my opinion, the max top for Solana right now is $26.79. But that is the technical wall of resistance, so keep your eye on it. And here is where Solana hit. That's right, $26.80. I called that move to the penny. Also in that video, I made a side statement about Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, when it was sitting at $5.87, and I said it was destined for decline, and today it's sitting at $1.85. But I'm not getting into stocks, this video is about crypto. And most importantly, where is Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, and Matic headed next? Have you missed the bottom? I'm gonna say very possibly you have. It is very hard to believe that we are ever going to see cryptocurrencies back at those lows again. You may not get a 15,000 Bitcoin, an 800 ETH, or an $8 Solana. Now I have to admit that I've been more bearish on Solana because of the FTX nonsense. I was disgusted with Sam Bakeman fried and everything that he touched. However, because I trade with the charts and not my heart, I was able to still call it accurately to the penny where it would reach. Now, I know that FOMO has got to be real for people that were waiting. Absolute panic for anybody that sold the bottom. I worked this crypto winter like clockwork. I started DCAing when the altcoins got down beneath 85% because I know that the bottom would be that 90% down and I wanted time to accumulate. I made videos for you guys about life-changing money because I knew that the majority of retail investors, they don't have 100K to drop on their favorite cryptos at the perfect moment. So I said, buy what you can afford weekly. At a minimum, consider buying $25 a week, but buy quality projects that you think will be around for two years. I explained every $25 was like saving a crisp $100 bill in the bank. I'm gonna give you guys the technicals moving forward as well as explain why there is so much strength in this crypto move right now. Like the video and subscribe and don't miss out on these daily stock and crypto videos that I'm making. Right now I am traveling in the beautiful country of Peru. I'm on a mission to bring back my father-in-law home to the States and I'm gonna be back in the US myself February 21st. I appreciate everyone's patience with the audio and the video challenges that I've had making videos while I'm here. I got a funny comment about my last video. Folks were saying that while they were driving and listening to my video that had all of the, the Peruvian city bus and car horns in the background that it was throwing them off while they were driving. Anyways, I'm still putting in hours of focused research to bring actionable technical analysis to you guys. I'm very thankful for all the kind and encouraging comments that I've received while I'm on this journey. I truly value and appreciate you guys. So why has this crypto move been so strong? I wanna start right there. Guys, the point I'm about to make is so important for beginning traders to understand. You have to stop viewing stocks and assets as having real intrinsic value. Now, I know that idea is disturbing and counterintuitive, 
But the fact is, apart from the potential book or cash value in the assets that we trade, there are other principles of value like momentum and relative strength that move prices higher or lower. And in the case of Bitcoin, these dynamics are heavily influenced by the market makers. That's a small group of powerful and influential people behind the highly centralized exchanges and minor groups. Number one reason there is so much strength in the crypto move right now is because the price is being pushed higher by market makers. They move it lower when most people are believing it'll go higher, and they move it higher when most people are betting on it going lower. In addition, number two reason, when market makers push it higher, we see in the data right now from CoinGlass that traders have been covering their short Bitcoin bets. They're doing it more than normal, resulting in what's called a short squeeze that's helping push up the price to a new level. It is the market makers buying up the volume to rob the shorts of their money. This heavy buying manipulation may mean that the bottom is booked, but it doesn't mean that we're in the markup phase and that it's gonna just climb and climb. We're gonna see run-ups and crashes again, but in a new price range. I'm gonna to touch on those price ranges in just a moment. Now, I don't have the details. I wanted to share this with you guys as well. A couple months back, somebody figured out how much Bitcoin was for sale on all of the top exchanges throughout the world. They looked at the buy and the ask for existing orders, and the number exceeded the potential available supply by over 100%. This was proof that these exchanges are just playing paper trading games with us. That's why you need to get a cold storage wallet and you need to hold your own crypto. Stop donating to shady exchanges and millennial billionaires living in the Bahamas. But here's the really important point that I want you guys to hear today. Bitcoin will eventually enter that markup phase for the very same reason it hit bottom and bounced. Nothing is going to be different, except the fact that this time around, the move is going to be even more powerful than it was in the past, because the players that are controlling the move are some of the biggest financial movers in the world. Bitcoin is continuing to gain adoption and solve world currency issues. I read a bunch of articles today about Russia in particular moving towards Bitcoin and crypto adoption to further bypass U.S. sanctions. Of course, these are the reasons we're going to get the U.S. regulations. This, though, I do not believe will harm crypto. I think it's only going to serve to strap rocket blasters to crypto to take it higher. Believe it or not, if you're listening to this video, you are still early to crypto and all cryptos are still on sale. All right, so where is Bitcoin going? I'm gonna keep these predictions and these charts very simple. If Bitcoin can hold the 25K price range for the next 48 hours, the next level that it will hit is 26,600. And then after that, it could push as high as 28,800. It is up against a couple of big technical barriers right now. The most important one being the 200 week moving average. It is absolutely critical that Bitcoin get some volume and close the week over this critical level to see Bitcoin remain in this elevated range and go higher. In all previous Bitcoin cycles, it was the 200 week moving average that served as a critical level of support or resistance. Matter of fact, in the past, when it simply came down to that level and, and hit it, it would bounce and that would signal a new bull cycle had begun and the bottom had been made. But in this last crypto winter, Bitcoin moved below the 200 week moving average, which scared a lot of people and caused people to think that perhaps Bitcoin was broken. And people took the position that if it failed to climb back above, that the Bitcoin cycles could be obsolete or unvalidated. So if it moves to that 26,600, it can then come back and find support on the 25K level, which is also the 200 week moving average. The new trade range would then become 24, 25K to the bottom, 28K to the top. Now I've made this point in the past, when Bitcoin moves, it can easily jump three, six, or 10,000 in just a couple days. There is no doubt in my mind that there are folks that are gonna be left behind with their heads spinning who are waiting for a better price. They were trying to save a grand by catching the bottom while losing potentially tens of thousands of value when it eventually moves up. So let's talk about ETH. I'll give you that in just a moment. Quick station break for my affiliate, the Moomoo Investment App. If you need better trade tools, click on the link in the top pinned comment of this video to open and fund an account to get 15 free stock. You can screenshot the exact offer to get all the details. 
Right now, because I'm out of the country, I've gotten myself locked out of the app. I don't have my password and Mumu has signed me out. I think they're trying to keep me safe. But on the app, I host a chat group called Stock Josh Fam, where I answer questions alongside other traders daily. Get your free stock, start investing today, and then you can come find us in the chat. Okay, ETH. ETH is also interacting with its 200 week moving average and it is still on target to hit 1800 and then potentially move to 2150. Moving forward a couple months from now, 1800 could serve as support. Right now it is stuck under at resistance, but that may soon flip. Solana, make no mistake about it, Solana is not out of the woods with the problems that it has. They lost a ton of developers, and if it hadn't been for Google swooping in with investment money, they very likely could have died this crypto winter. They are not participating as strongly with the current move up. They're not showing the same relative strength as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Matic. They need to break and close above $26 in the next 48 hours, or I expect that the move for Solana could be stalled. I still think there's a chance it could spike up to $28 or $30 range, but right now it is cooling off, not heating up. But Polygon Matic is on fire. Now, if you follow my page, you know that I converted my Solana into Polygon Matic and Quant. Both are doing extremely well. Matic has exceeded my price target expectations. Polygon Matic is acting like it wants to get to the $1.60 range. No crypto right now is showing the relative strength that Matic has been showing. Now, having said that, I'm not going to give it the $1.60 target. It may be at its peak right now. I view Matic as an easy six to $8 altcoin in the peak of the next crypto bull market. Now, I've previously said bye, bye, bye if you can get it at 70 cents, but the new 70 cents is now anything under a dollar. My new prediction for Matic is that the lower range buy price, if you can get Matic under $1 at any point moving forward, for me, it's gonna be a very strong buy. It's not a suggestion for you to buy, sell, or hold. And remember that there are people in the comment section that impersonate me. They use my picture and my name. I'm never gonna ask you guys in a comment to send me money or reach out to me on WhatsApp and Telegram. Polygon Matic has been a winning crypto from a technical strength perspective, as well as a fundamental perspective. They were and have been the biggest winner from the Solana troubles. The majority of developers migrated from Solana after all that trouble to Matic. Solana is not dead, but they are not in first place as far as the fastest moving larger cap altcoin. But we shall see. There is way more going on than I have the time to cover. I hope all of this has helped you guys. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on crypto right now. Do you think this is the top? Are you buying? Are you taking profits? Let me know. Like and subscribe to join the Stock Josh fam. I appreciate all of you. Peace and blessings, my friends. I'll see you in the next video.